The patient information used in this tutorial is only for general informational purposes. We have used de-identified patient data as per public health information guidelines. Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will explore patient demographics in Expedia Medical Billing software. Let's get started by logging into Expedia Medical Billing. Hover over the Patients tab, select View from the drop-down, and the patient list will appear. Click on Add New, and the Add Patient window will appear. Enter mandatory fields such as the patient's first name, last name, date of birth, etc. Let's enter patient John Cooper details. If patient account number is left empty, it will be auto-generated. Enter address details. Enter alternative address if available. If you have additional field information such as marital status, employment status, etc., please provide those details as well. Enable the flagged for collection option if the patient is referred to collection agencies to collect the amount due. Flagged for debt setoff applies to public health accounts, indicating patients referred to clearinghouses for debt collection. Moving along, in the Primary Insurance Payer tab, select Patient Relationship to Insured. If Self is chosen for Patient Relationship to Insured, details will be filled automatically. Otherwise, please enter the information. Enter Insured ID, which is a mandatory field. If available, you can also enter details related to policy and insurance plan. Check self-pay patient to mark the patient as self-pay. This auto-fills payer ID and payer name with self-pay details, making them non-editable. Applies to professional and institutional payers in the primary insurance tab. If the payer is not self, leave the self-pay patient checkbox unchecked. You can manually enter professional, institutional, and eligibility payer details or use payer ID lookup. If applicable, you can enter secondary and tertiary payer details in the corresponding fields. In the Notes tab, you have the option to add, edit, or delete patient-related notes. The SFS, that is Sliding Fee Schedule tab, is applicable only for public health clinic accounts. More details about SFS will be provided later in the session. In the Custom Fields tab, you can configure additional custom fields needed for the clinic or hospital. These fields, such as text, date, drop-down, number, and currency fields, can be enabled in the Patient Demographics Custom Fields screen under Maintenance, Settings, Patient Demographics Custom Fields, and will appear in the Custom Fields tab. In the Providers tab, configure the Rendering Provider, Referring Provider, Service Facility, and Billing Provider details using the provided lookup. To populate Rendering Provider details, use the First Name Lookup. The same data will be populated in Box 31 of HCFA Claim Form and under Individual Providers in UBO4 Claim Form. Similarly, populate Referring Provider Details. The same data will be populated in Box 17 of HCFA Claim Form and Box 79 in UBO4 Claim Form. Likewise, populate Service Facility Details. The same data will be populated in Box 32 of HCFA Claim Form and under Billing Provider, Pay to Provider, and Service Facility in UBO4 Claim Form. To populate Billing Provider details, click on Name Lookup. 
The same data will be populated in Box 33 of HCFA Claim Form and under Billing Provider, Pay to Provider, and Service Facility in UB04 Claim Form. Once you have entered all the information, save it. Following that, a window will pop up with the message Patient Successfully Added. To edit patient details, simply click the Edit icon. Make the necessary changes and then save. The Import option is for importing patient files to the database. If you choose CSV as the file type, pick a profile from the drop down list. The list shows the available CSV map profiles in the system. Contact the administrator to request a CSV format profile. You can import in different formats like Expedium XML, Expedium HL7, Nemesis 2.2.1 JSON, Nemesis 3.4.0 XML, and Expedium JSON. You can choose different versions for Expedium HL7. Enable Ignore Duplicates to ignore duplicate patient entries when inserting data into the system. Browse and select the file that you want to import. Additionally, we offer a bulk importing option, allowing you to efficiently import numerous patient files in different formats. Use Export option to export patient files in specified file format. If the file type is selected as CSV, select Profile to be used from the drop-down list. You can export in various other formats such as Expedium XML, Expedium HL7, Expedium JSON, and Expedium FHIR. You can also select different versions for Expedium HL7 and Expedium FHIR. Enable the Include Header box to add the header row to patient entries when exporting data into the system. Simply click Export to export a patient file. Similar to importing, you have the option to export numerous patient files in different formats. You can check the status of patient import and export tasks in Patients, History, Import, Export. In Patient Import Export History, you'll see counts for inserted, updated, and ignored as duplicate records for imports and exported records for exports. You'll also find the task creation date and its status. Download files by clicking Internal File Name, and for any failed import or export, you can view error details by clicking View. To find patient details, make use of the search function on the patient list screen. You can search patient details by entering the patient first name, last name, date of birth, balance due, or by specifying age group. Additional filters like self-pay patients, having write-offs, etc. are available for more specific searches. Also, we can select custom filter to search. In addition, using payer information and claim details, we can find patient details in the Payer tab and Claim tab respectively. In Others tab, we can search details using patient gender, ethnicity, etc. Use the Save Search feature to choose and save your preferred search criteria. Once saved, you can easily select and load these criteria from the drop-down menu on the search screen. The Delete feature allows you to delete the existing patient data. You can delete patient data, but only if there are no associated claims or ledger transactions in the system. A green circular icon next to the patient's name indicates active transactions, and the checkbox will be disabled. Conversely, a gray circular icon indicates no transactions where the checkbox is enabled. The SFS program configured here will be available when adding transactions from the patient ledger at patient level and claim level. Choose an SFS program from the available options and enter SFS percentage. Note that the SFS program is disabled by default for all the accounts. Contact the administrator to enable for your account. Log in to Expedium Help. Refer to Chapter 3 of the User Manual to find out more about patient demographics. That's all for this session. Thank you.